Marcus, you said you might have a tear when you came back to the Bucks, but I've seen nothing but smiles this week. <laughs> uh, you're, you've enjoyed being here, haven't you? Oh, man, Jim, I, I've loved being in training camp. It, it reminds me of uh, my first day out at Carroll College. It might be Carroll University now, but Carroll College. And uh, we just had two coaches, uh, Don Nelson and John Killalay, but a lot of similarities in terms of just breaking things down into stations and then the meticulous attention to detail and uh, – it's just been fun. The enthusiasm of the players, the coaching staff, uh, it's just been fun to be around. What have you seen watching Jason Kidd these days? Uh, it's funny. Jason Kidd uh, does a great job, and, and it's not surprising, but, but he's a lot more uh, humorous than, than I had imagined. I always thought of him as just a stoic, kind of straight-laced kind of a guy as a player and as a coach, but uh, he's uh, interspersed some humorous clips into the team team video at, at the, uh, at the uh, inaugural dinner uh, during uh, the actual practices themselves. Always some funny quips and comments that he makes to the players just to keep things loose. Uh, but he's serious also at the same vein in terms of getting things done. Uh, there's no wasted um, uh, movement or, or, or effort or energy. It's, it's one drill to the next. It reminds me of my old coach John Wooden who had his 3 by 5 index cards and we'd go from one practice uh, station to the next and I see a lot of similarities out here. David Aldridge mentioned it the other day. Jason Kidd is not a yeller. He yeah. keeps a very low key approach to this but he is in command. Yeah, it's just totally in command. It was fun watching him uh, from a distance work with Jabari Parker and kind of work on some things that Jason used to do as a player and to, and to see the attentiveness of, of, of Jabari Parker. And that comes from Jason Kidd being a 20-year vet, an all-star, a Hall of Famer, an NBA champion. Uh, when you've got that kind of credibility, it's hard as a player not to pay attention to it. This all boils down to talent. What do you see and what expectations do you have for this team? Man, you know, it's early. It's, it's, you know, I don't want to get too caught up now, Jen. I don't want to get too <laughs> caught up in training camp because it's, a lot of times it might be fool's goal but I'm seeing some good stuff from this team. Uh, from, from the guard play, the defense that, uh, that's being structured by the, by the defensive coaches, Greg Monroe, what he, pre he presents as, in terms of, of an issue as a problem inside. Uh, uh, Jabari Parker, once he gets his feet under him, gets healthy and gets up. And he is healthy, but once he gets back into kind of game shape, running up and down the floor, uh, Giannis, what he could bring to the table. I mean, I'm seeing so many terrific elements uh, of a team that can uh, surpass on the, on the victory total of last year. I'm as excited as you are. Let's get to work. Thank you. Yeah, let's do this, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's go.